Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mickey C, aka The Low Hounds, and welcome to another episode of my Escape from Gold. Last episode, we ended off at Gold 359 LP, and you can see there in the top left hand corner, replays and spectator mode has been disabled because of a bug so i can't really spectate anyone at the moment so bronze spectates are pretty hard to make but they should come back soon but without further ado let's try and escape this prison they call gold game number one we got talon and i am going to be up against a lissandra in the top lane when i hit level two i saw a good opportunity to go in because i hit both of my w so that is basically a free hit of your passive and then i got ganked level three from Jax. i tried to flash to q onto lissandra but i was just out of range i got level three and then i jumped to the wall to avoid the stun and managed to pick up first blood I now had double buffs and that seemed to really confuse Lissandra. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Bronze Spectates Gold Edition. I can't really explain what Lissandra was thinking, but I did get my second kill of the game, and then as soon as I hit level six, I saw the opportunity to jump on Lissandra, and that was my third kill. Then, moments later, in the 10th minute, we found Jax in his jungle. I probably didn't have to use my ultimate there, but I did get my fourth kill now, four, zero, and zero, Everything was going well until I unfortunately got shut down. But as soon as I got back to lane, Lissandra overstayed just a little bit. And Sejuani was there to catch her out. Got the stun and I came in and got my fifth kill of the game. Apart from that one death so far, it has been a pretty good game for me. I pushed the top lane wave and roams all the way down to the bot lane. Managing to pick up a kill. And then Sejuani and Yasuo cleaned up a tower dive on the Twitch. I continue to look for roaming opportunities. I make sure I always push my lane first though before roaming. And then I saw a good opportunity to try and tower dive this Jace. I got knocked away. I don't think I needed to flash there. I didn't get the kill. But in the end, Yasuo did get the kill. And then moments later, I lost my top lane tower because of that roam. But it wasn't too bad because I managed to get another kill on this Lissandra. About a minute or so later, I did get the top lane tower. And then a team fight broke out and I'm just super, super fed at this point. And Yasuo was also legendary. So we won team fight so easily. I jumped over the wall trying to find this Jace. Got him. And well, he was just not going to get away. Once the game hit 20 minutes, that's when we started to look to take Baron. We had just killed the enemy jungler, Jack. So it was a good opportunity to take Baron. But we saw an opportunity to pick up some kills. We did kill the Jace, but Lissandra somehow survived. And the ultimate from Twitch did so much damage. And Twitch was really starting to kick in as he picked up a triple kill. But then moments later, once again, we caught out the enemy jungler, Jax. He seemed to constantly get caught out. And this was another good opportunity to take a fight after killing Jax. Bard almost got away, but I decided, hey, let me just flash for the kill, which I did. And that led to Baron. Fast forward to the 28th minute, we have still got Baron. The rest of the team was in the mid lane, while me and Yasuo were here in the bot lane. I died, unfortunately, which left Yasuo in a 1v3. He managed to get the knock up onto Twitch, picking up that kill. He did go down, but he had Guardian Angel. So now it was a 1v2. It looked like he was just going to die, but he was dashing left, right, and center through the minions. He got the one kill onto Jax, and then Lissandra used her Zonyas. And a 1v3 for Yasuo, picking up the ace, as that led to us winning the game. The next game, I got Trindamir in the top lane, but it ended up just being a remake. 
So straight away into another game, I got autofill to support and I can only really play Blitzcrank on this account. So I decided to go with it, even though we were a full AD team, I was considering dodging, but we did have Vayne and Yasuo, who I think late game are good enough to kill tanks. So I thought, hey, may as well go with it. Here was a good opportunity to catch out the enemy bot lane. We had already lost the bot lane tower because I guess me and Vayne were just not good enough at stopping the push from Cogmore and Janna. We did kill the Cogmore here in the 15th minute. And, well, I think Vayne went down, but I hooked in the Katarina, and Kane came in and picked up a triple kill. So that definitely was a decent little fight for us, Kane picking up the triple kill, but then both Kane and Vayne got caught out around the Dragon Pit. I did manage to hook this Janna, but that started off a bit of a fight. Ezreal had to flash away, but he went down. Katarina was really starting to snowball this game, and we didn't have much CC for the Katarina. Yasuo went in as well. He got the two-man last breath. But eventually went down. I did hook the Sejuani. And maybe Yasuo could have got the kill on the Sejuani. Or at least dashed out using Sejuani. But we, who knows. Uh, then another fight broke out in the 20th minute. I'm just trying to do the best I can do. But you know, Cogmore and Janna. The combination was way too strong. I don't know if Janna had Arden Sensor at this point. But it definitely was very hard to kill the Cogmore. Ezreal, he tried to outplay them in a 1v2 didn't quite work out, but a Yasuo eventually flashed for the Cogmore. 22 minutes into the game, the kills were fairly close, but they just had way more objectives. I tried to hook the Cogmore, but I hooked Janna instead, got the kill. But Katarina, oh boy, Katarina and Cogmore. From that point on, the enemy team just snowballed the game. Katarina picking up a triple kill, and that was that. GG, well played. Pathetic. Talon banned once again. What's going on? Everybody's realizing how OP he is. This is not good for me, guys. But anyway, I decided to play Trindamir in the top lane instead up against Fiora. In the fourth minute, I got ganked from Lee Sin, but I managed to get away to the Blasting Cone. But on the other side of the wall, there was Lee Sin again with double buffs. I was in some trouble, but then I saw that Master Yi was on the way. So I picked the fight and Master Yi got first blood. I was very happy with that first blood, but then I tried to fight Fiora in a large minion wave because I knew Master Yi was on the way, but I just took way too much damage. And then Fiora managed to flash Duke the Yi. At this point, the top lane was fairly even, but I decided to roam towards the mid lane to help out Ziggs. Anivia flashed. I followed up with the flash, and Ziggs with the snipe picks up the kill. And then in the 10th minute, I decided to try and all in the Fiora. But what is that damage? New Fiora buffs OP, and Yi got one shot as well. And well, uh, it was just going to be one kill until... And then as soon as I got back to lane, Fiora tried to all in me. Not a bad choice since I had pretty much no fury. And then, well, she tried to dive me. Does Fiora know what Trindamir does as a champion? Fast forward to the 16th minute in the game. The enemy team were pushing down the mid lane because Ziggs went down. I tried my very best to defend this tower along with Janna. But we just couldn't do it. But then Master Yi was on the way. And well, they didn't have too much mana. So I thought this was a good time to fight. Excuse that little bit of a misclick. But nonetheless, we still got the fight. And uh, we killed Lee Sin first. And then we killed Fiora. And that led to the tower. Eventually getting a tower and even one more kill. Master Yi getting the egg. And I cleaned up the egg for another kill. Now onto a killing spree. And then... What? In the 18th minute, everybody was chilling in the top lane. Anivia playing a little bit too aggressive goes down. Master Yi picking up that kill. Now Vayne was going in with Ziggs and so was Master Yi. Vayne picking up one kill. I went in and pretty much just tanked the tower. That was my job with my ultimate. 
as my team cleaned up the rest of the kills. Fast forward a few minutes later, we managed to sneak the Baron. They almost stole it, but Master Yi with the clutch smite. I then decided to push down the bot lane with Baron buff, got the tower, and then Fiora tried to fight me, but at this point, I was so much stronger. She did, however, flash away. I used my ultimate, so I had to escape. Ziggs was on the way, and he did eventually kill the Fiora. Now, everybody else was in the mid lane, so me and Ziggs just pushed down the bot lane, got the in hip. Master Yi was now on a rampage, and we got the second in him. And then moments later, the enemy team chased everybody in the top lane. So me and Ziggs just pushed the bot lane with Baron Buff. They had to back, and well, they had to kill us before we hit the Nexus, but it was too late. And that was that. We picked up the win. So in this episode, we got two wins and one loss. We picked up the one loss with the support Blitzcrank and the two wins with Talon and Trindamir. There was also one remake. So now we are sitting at 88 LP gold three. One more win away from our gold two promos. Everybody, it is happening. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop that like button. And as always, have a nice day.